coming the right way. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be a good day. This is Jason Lauren on Melbourne's Nova 100. Well, good morning, everybody. Hey, guys, 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 welcome to your Wednesday. We are halfway through the week, baby. Good morning. It's a miserable old Wednesday out there this morning. I know, she's windy and crappy. She Hell is it. wet and cold. How'd you pull up this morning? Yesterday, yesterday was a bit of a mission. What do you mean? Well, you went out after the footy. Oh, yesterday I was tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, it was a good day to stay inside. I loved it. <laughs> Did you stay inside all day? Stayed inside all day. Loved it. Stayed out of the rain, out of the wind. I was so jealous. Watched Eric on Netflix. So, oh, so, so was I. So was I. No, it was great. <sighs> How was your day? Uber, I went here and picked up the kids and the day began. The day began. Good on you we guys. were here forever well yesterday too. <laughs> no sex is worth it. Um, um, no Clint, what? you were watching the swimming last night in no prep. What? I said sometimes no sex is worth it. Oh, yeah. Bet okay. your children would be proud to hear you say that. <laughs> well, I said sometimes. No, you just said no, no, no sex no. is I worth it. I said sometimes. Ever again? No, <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tonight's a swimming night. How are we feeling? Oh my goodness. So I'm swimming in well, a race tonight. Well, you were watching tonight. the prep I, So last I wanted to study, didn't I? Just to well, see how you, to though? get onto the blocks and all I that. I think you've just freaked yourself out even more by watching the I actual have. athletes compete. I was sitting there with the kids and Lou last night. We're, we're hosting a screening party for you tonight. <laughs> well, I was like, guys, you know, Dad knows an athlete who's going to be in the pool tomorrow night. Is it going to uh, be a job? Like, I, I hope so. I, no, but I mean, like, <laughs> so you're in this celebrity relay. Yes. It, you've got. Celebrities, and then you've got actual ex Olympians. Yes, it's a nice it, mix. Is it everyone? That's texting, it because you're taking it quite seriously. Well, I was texting Sylvia Jeffries last night for my Today Extra. Too. She's in it. She says, mm, I feel sick about it. I said, You and me both. Um, I've not swum a proper race since 1996. <laughs> but you've got a swim bag. That makes you prefer. She says, me She's neither. coming out of retirement. Wouldn't mind a bout of gastro right now. I'm not in the pool. <laughs> so we're not in the pool. But, like, do you think. Are you going to have a bit of fun and splish splash around and wave oh, to the I crowd so. mid lap? Oh, or yeah. are you going to be oh, like. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, you're I'm, taking it I'm seriously, taking aren't you? Seriously, yeah. I've actually never seen I'm you so get, competitive. I'm going to get to the other end as fast as I can. Swim, swim, swim. I'm, I'm just worried that. What? I'm just worried that you're going to take it so <laughs> serious that everyone's going to look at you like a you're bit of a tool. A bit hard. Yeah. Yeah, no, everyone's going to be like, hey, like- hey, hey, champ. Well, um, it's better than the alternative, which is splish splashing around in the pool. Speaking of which, Carl Stefanovic, oh who is goodness. up against you, is going to be oh, joining us. he's going to be doing that, isn't he? Yep. Oh, there's no way Carl's taking it serious. He's going to be joining us tonight, uh, this morning after 7 well, o'clock. Well, I'm concerned because Keita Alexander, who was in here last week, is also swimming mm. in your relay, in your team. Yes. And her plan was to use a kickboard. Yes. As team captain, <laughs> I shall be telling her there will be no kickboard. Oh, we are going for the win. You're oh. taking this. I've never seen you so serious about Neither something. Neither have I. Well, it's... I, because I'm in Speedos on national television. Well, I've got something that's going to make you look better in Speedos. Really? Yeah, you get, I'm going to Giant give it to you a little a later. Full swimsuit? No, you could be you could be in a mankini if you want. You'd still look great in this. <laughs> we've got you a giant prosthetic. <clears throat> we haven't. Uh, it's right. something else. Uh, we'll get to that a little bit later on after 8 o'clock. He's taking it very Can't serious, wait. hasn't he? Like it rattles me. He's a competitor. He's an athlete. I am an athlete, Jace. <laughs> For one See? night only. There you go. Um, all right. We will get to that. Uh, Mason I hope you Cox. haven't got too strong that you've made yourself oh, too heavy. Yes. <laughs> I'll it's tell Lauren what you had last night. It's to be buoyant. <laughs> he, had a, he had a big meal last night. I had, had a steak s- and, and some sweet potato. <laughs> That's good. That you got a carb load. He said, let's have pasta for breakfast. I think it was him that wanted the pasta, not me. I'll take it. No, I think on game day, it's more like bananas, isn't is it? it? Oh, oh, is it? I've got a banana. I don't think you have pasta in the morning. Oh, that's why we're screwed up having a lasagna You'll- before athletics day. Yeah, you look bloated in your in your dick togs. Yeah, I can never get over that high jump. Uh, yeah, Mason Cox on the air in the next 20 minutes. And uh, yes, as I mentioned, Carl Stefanovic coming up. I'm He's excited been... to hear from Carlos. Yeah. What about the update on our boy Christian Petrarca as well? I know, what terrible. Devastating news. Poor thing. So, four broken ribs. Yes. Lacerated spleen. Yes. Punctured lung. Punctured lung. Very unwell. He, that that's that's a long time, well, a long slow recovery. He's in host- I spoke to his parents yesterday. I um, I believe he's in hospital for the rest of the week. He's and pretty for the tough. The rest track. of the week. Yeah. yeah he. W- oh yeah. He's going to be sore. Yes. A lacerated spleen. Remember, I, I mean, I text was texting him last night and he said he was feeling okay, but I think he's pretty tough. Mm. I remember Mason had a lacerated spleen and he he could hardly move for four weeks. 
Yeah. He was out for what, I six th- or eight yeah, weeks? Yeah, I think it might be season over for yeah, Petrarca, which means do Melbourne, we need, season over. Do we need to do a roster, like for visiting hours? At the no, I don't think he wants to see us, but we should send something. We should. We must go. We, no, we must I don't go. think we should go. <laughs> I think we should leave him. I think we should send him something. Take it in terms of feeding him. Should no, we send I don't him? think we should go. Okay. I think we should leave that to his <laughs> mum and wife. Should we send ourselves? No, actually. <laughs> Be careful on the roads out there, Melbourne. Oh. It is wet and windy. I did not want to get out of bed today. Bit fares. Oh, How good's that? Like when you're lying in bed, not when yeah. you have to get up, and it's pouring outside. Mm. And you, ew, so nice. You know what my wife did yesterday? What? Pulled up at home, went running inside after the kids, and left her windows down in the car oh. overnight. Well, through the afternoon last night, I was out there ew. with towels. It was ew. like a, she drove through a car wash. Yeah, it was no. crazy. When the rain hit. It really came yesterday, yeah. didn't a, it? She got a new car? Yeah. No. Yeah, she's got the Kmart car, the Havel. Oh, oh the she's Havel. Got the Havel. Yeah. A lot of electrics Havel. in that. Havel? Havel. 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 <laughs> Havel. Depending what suburb. In Havel. Brighton, it's Havel. Havel. Yeah, out of Bayside. They're good. Havel. Havel. Yeah. What did we get in the other night, Clint? Oh. B-Y-D. Build your dreams. Build your dreams. I liked that car. Yeah, it was very spacious. Very well, mate of mine just got one, the electric mm-hmm. version. I think they're all electric, aren't they? Really? Aren't all BYDs electric? I think they're electric. Are they? I don't know. I've only been in one. I didn't didn't ask ask him. No, we We asked about every other interior (laughs) detail, though, didn't we? (laughs) The lights. You can change all the lights inside. Like a party. Oh, I like that. Like a little party. Like it was green and then he had it purple. And then, yeah, yeah, it was your Mercedes does that. Was this an Uber? Yeah. Yeah, he he was, it was new and he was happy to show off the I was about to say, he would have been loving that you're asking about the features. I now go Uber electric. Do you? Yeah. Every time. Every time. Yeah. Environmental warrior. No, I do a lot of Uber Get electric. out. <laughs> Over, honestly, the fitness, the health, now electric. <laughs> You're like a ripped Bindi Irwin. <laughs> you are. You're very impressive. Can I get a matcha tea, please? <laughs> yeah. You will be drinking matcha before you know it. Hey, um, coming up at 7 o'clock, uh, Nova's trip a day. We have a brand new little getaway to offload just after 7. But coming up next, Lozzie. I've got a statistic about driving. Mm. Something that 54, so over half of Australians have done, mm. and I think it's wrong. Mm. I think we are. We must be the top of the tree in here All right. when it comes to, we must be perfect. Let's find out where everyone sits on the other side of this here on Nova. Will today be the day that we go into hiding? Melbourne's biggest game of hide and seek is coming. Thanks to Lexus of Brighton, you can make a dynamic entrance with the Lexus LBX City SUV at Lexus of Brighton, just along the Nepean Highway. At any point this week, we could just get up mid-show, leave, and make our way to a secret location. When we're both there, the game begins. The game will be on. $250,000, but the money counts down. So the quicker you find us... The more you win, it is Melbourne's biggest game of hide and seek. Did you guys see the story that went viral yesterday about the fox that was stuck in the truck? Mm, The fox. So there was a truck driving down the highway and- Here in Melbourne? No, it was in Adelaide. Right. Or just out of, in South Australia, out of Adelaide. And um, he he knew he hit something in a big truck. I mean, I don't know. I feel like you'd think he hit something all the time going over bumps and potholes. Yep. He knew he'd hit something. So he stopped the truck and jumped out and went and looked at it. And inside the grill oh. was a fully alive, functioning fox trying to get out, like biting on the grill from the oh, wow. inside Looks like out. a Tasmanian devil. So look. There's, I mean, there's many questions about how it actually managed to get under the grill. It might, it, so it lodged in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's so like it's it's behind the grill trying to chew its way out. So just going along for the ride. He had to call a vet. He didn't know what to do. He was like, I can't take off. He couldn't get it out. He couldn't get through the bonnet to get it out. Also it'd take and, your bloody arm off, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, you don't want to get near that. <laughs> well, they called a wildlife vet who had to sedate the fox How, to get it out. But Are they pests? How common are they? Pests. Lou reckons she's seen a couple of foxes yeah, around. They're the pretty suburbs. common, especially suburbs. out really? like, after dark. Oh, yeah. This is off the bins. In the bins. Getting the in city. the bins. Where, where are they Something. hiding during the day? Uh, in their sewers. holes. <laughs> and sewers. Underground, maybe. In their burrows. Oh, in their burrows. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I'm just sorry. I realised I'm people, asking the people, two people. Um, that are, I don't know much about foxes. I'm not qualified. But after he hit this fox, it's got a lot of people talking about things that you have hit in um, 
in your car, there is a report that has said 54% of Australians have been involved in an animal collision. There's no way. Mm. No. More than half of the population have hit an animal. I've never hit an animal. I reckon I'd bounce back from an, uh, from bumping an oldie over hitting a dog. Have you hit an animal? No, never have. Clint? I hit my mum once. <laughs> You hit your mum. <laughs> I meant to go backwards, but I went forwards. Oh, I was saying learning? goodbye. Oh. Like, you know, when you say, bye, see you later. Bye, All mom. right, see you soon. Were you trying to say real big? <gasps> put it into reverse. <laughs> try. Did you hurt her? <laughs> gave her a little nudge. Uh, just a little love You didn't tap. wedge her against the wall or anything. <laughs> <laughs> bye, mum. <laughs> Turtles. Um, animals. Uh, hit a roo once. Oh, you have? Yeah. Now, they say if you see a kangaroo in the middle of the road, you just drive straight keep for driving, it. Keep driving, apparently. Swerve. What? It's, Don't it's swerve. Much worse. Just keep driving. Momentum. Yeah, <laughs> you're better to hit it front on. If you if you swerve, you can end up caught. You can end up causing much more damage to yourself mm. and the car. That's really? Exactly run, it, yeah. run straight through it. Yep. Yep. Always head on. But it, I've heard the complete opposite. What you stop? What? Yeah. No. Well, if you can stop, obviously <laughs> that's the first preference. You don't. You, you're but not, you don't try and swerve. You can go down a bank. You can yeah. go into a tree. Right, you can go okay. into other mm. oncoming vehicles. Skippy will get out of your way. My mum most of the time. If not, straight through. A lot of the time. Have you Some seen the, the damage on cars from kangaroos though? Oh, extraordinary. Oh. Shocking. Extraordinary. My mum ran over me once in the driveway, <laughs> over my leg. Oh. Just like a little speed in a car. Hump. Yeah. Yeah. Straight Did it over. break your leg? No, it was more like the whole foot area. Oh. Around the ankle. How, obviously, accidentally, or was it a punishment for something? Don't know. Don't know. Jury's still out. Me and your mum have something in common, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> Bad drivers. No, you can't be running over your children. <laughs> or your mum. No. I think it'd be terrible to hit like someone's family pet. Oh, I wouldn't bounce oh. back from yeah, that. Yeah, no, it must have. Well, 54% of Australian drivers have been in an animal collision. Well, shame on you. Obviously, we're in the minority. Drive, slow down. Slow down. Mm. Hey, Our friend's dog actually ran straight across the oh, street the other day in front of a car, and it was fi- it was it, fine? it was fine. Yeah, what yeah. bounced off? No, 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 it didn't hit it. Oh. It was faster than the car. It like ran across the street, and then we saw a car coming, and I was like, mm. "Hey, it's like yeah. in slow motion." Light and bright stories. Oh my goodness, what are we doing? <laughs> Thirteen twenty four ten. <laughs> We're going to play chicken. What no. have you hit? What have you hit? Thirteen twenty four ten. If you've hit something in your car, I'm not necessarily meaning people and animals. Like, could just be, you know. What if you run over? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You, like you when you hit the thing you? in the car park, you reversed yes. into the wall. Yes, and I'm still waiting that for the car to be been fixed. there for quite a while. I don't know how you it, honestly came out of nowhere. If you go down, they painted the wall the same color as the pylons. It's oh, ridiculous. like a little three D number. Wouldn't you three D pylon? Wouldn't you paint the pylon a different color? Well, the other issue with that car park is that the, no car, the adjacent car parks don't line up. Thank you, Lauren. What do you mean? So they're not. No, you know how normally there's oh, like yeah, a right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, yeah. they don't. They're just mad. Way, yeah. And that's what got me. The poles oh, aren't in the same course. spot at the front and the back. It's yeah, you should invoice on. them, Jace. I nearly hit your car this morning, oh, Clint. Oh. I, <laughs> I got distracted. I thought I saw a cat actually <laughs> running <laughs> across the thing. It was my reflection was on that fox? silver beam. Wasn't a fox. Oh, what did no. the fox say though? Oh no, <laughs> guys. What? What did the fox say? Remember oh, that song? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Look at the phone lines. A lot of people are hit things in Melbourne. 13, 20, 4, 10. We're going to find out what you hit on the other side <laughs> I'm of going to check my car. Here I on. didn't hit it. Nova. I didn't. Uh, what do we got? Tops of 18 today. It's 11 at the moment. The rain and wind is going to be going nowhere. So take it easy when you're out there on the roads. What? I think it's 13 on closer inspection. Yeah. Tops of 13. Bit of tops a chilly of 13. one. <laughs> I know. We almost have reached the top temperature today, though, already. That's yeah, really need to get the font changed fun. on that we screen. Do, it's, exactly. it's quite hard Very to see, isn't it? Especially oh. for an older pair of eyes. Oh, mate, you've got no idea. No idea. No, maybe we need to get you some <laughs> some bifocals. No idea. <laughs> Imagine James in bifocals. I told you, I look like the guy in Up. Well, well you, you might need to wear glasses because we're talking about what have you hit in your car. What did you say you hit? Uh, my mum ran over me oh, and I hit a pole. I've always yeah. wanted those sunglasses that flip up. Oh, yeah, they're oh, yeah. stylish. <laughs> they're the inside outside. Yeah, yeah. What about the, like, the transition lenses? When you go in the sun, they just go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've dark. never seen them. Transition oh, yeah. lenses? No. Oh, you ain't living. Mm. All right, let's go to Warrigal. Bianca, good morning. Have you hit something in your car? Yes, I have. I was driving along the highway. And so we're doing about 110 kilometres an hour. There was a car in front of me with a barbecue on the back. Oh, no. It's come off the barbecue. <gasps> Not it's the Weber. come off the back of the car, and I've hit the barbecue. <laughs> oh. Was the barbecue all right? <laughs> <laughs> How bad the was the car? barbecue was fine. No, it was actually not too bad. There was a scratch on the back of my car, 
and that was fine. But about three weeks later, I was going through a roundabout and another barbecue had come off the car. What? You're kidding? No, no way. No. Two barbecues? Yeah. What are the odds? Two barbecues. Why are these people securing the barbecues on the tray? That's just reminded me. Remember that movie, Final Destination? Yeah, I know, with the logs. Don't. With the log truck and the Sorry. log comes off and goes straight through people's heads. Two barbecues? Two barbecues. Two, two. separate occasions. Two barbecues, two separate occasions, different barbecue. Do you freak out if you see a barbecues galore <laughs> sign coming up? Like, are you like, you know what, I'm chucking a Yui? They go a different way. It's not worth it. <sighs> Talia and Cranburn, good morning. What are the odds? Good morning, guys. How are you? We, we are well, good. thank you. Are you one of the 56% of Australians who have hit something in their car? Um, yeah, unfortunately. What was it? <laughs> um, I actually ran over my partner's foot. Oh, yeah. So, this is what happened to Jace. How yeah. intentional was it, Talia? <laughs> um, we, <laughs> we were having a little tip and I was like, oh my gosh, I've had enough of you. Mm-hmm. So I went to get in my car and my poor partner has come after me. Um, <sighs> and as I was reversing out the driveway... I ran over his foot. <laughs> Wouldn't tickle. But, um, yeah, it, it definitely did tickle him. He did have a blood toe. Oh, did you feel bad about it? Did you keep driving? No, I would have been like, see ya, that's on you. I'm trying up to... while she's telling the story. She yeah. thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I would have been like, well, what was the fight about, Talia? Um, something oh, stupid? Something so silly. Yeah. yeah I, could, I can't even remember that. How <laughs> even silly it was. Yeah. But, oh, yep, there's a but. Um, we... Yeah, we kind of reconciled because I ran his toe over. Yeah, but that's the thing. You, know, you probably like put his foot under your tire to get him out of trouble. Exactly. And that's then what you're men do. Oh, now you've run over my foot. Now you have to feel sorry for me. Absolutely. I wouldn't feel sorry. I'd keep driving. You've done this trick before, babe. I'm out of here. <laughs> we'll leave would, him in my dust. You would keep driving, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, it's here. It's only a toe. You'd, get, nine to, you'd get to work, Clint, to be like, there's Jace's funny little hat on the dash. Yeah. Where's Jace? Gone. Gone. He's in the grill. Yeah, in the grill. <laughs> Clint, I'm in the grill. Help me out. Yeah. Help, help, help me out. Jai. Help me, I'm stuck. Jai's from Adelaide. Morning, Jai. Love your show, you guys. Love it. Oh, oh thanks, brother. Jai. What do you hit? Uh, I hit a cow. <gasps> Sorry? So I, was five, I was five hours north of Adelaide on my way back down from one of the mine sites doing yeah. a delivery. Um, saw something out the corner of my right mm. eye and just looked out the driver's side window, looked up. <laughs> Two steps, the cow was straight in front of me. Oh, Jesus. no. What, were you driving a truck or were you in like a four yeah, drive? Yeah, in, in a road train, yeah. How oh, fast? A, how fast? Ro- road trains so cannot hit it, stop. Hit it, at 100, hit it at 100 k's an hour. It went through the centre of the bull bar, pushed oh. the bonnet back, smashed the windows, oh. knocked out all the headlights. So you were, um, you were so moving. You, did, oh. did like hundred thousand dollars damage. Yeah, hundred thousand dollars damage. Yep, <gasps> it and was what? moving. I pulled, I pulled up because I couldn't go anywhere. Didn't have any lights. Pulled up, walked back just to make sure you know it was all right. Yeah, it was obviously the seat. <laughs> no, wait, Heard no. this noise, shone my torch around, and there's fifty other cows looking at me, going, "What the hell have you just done?" Absolutely, <laughs> John. You know what? You must have been moving. Oh, no. <laughs> Good gag. Good one, Lauren. Yeah, Great good gag. gag. Just thought of it then. Good one, Lauren. <laughs> Clint, you tried to deliver that line far too many times. I hey, just quickly, um, our team. Anyone on the team hit anything for anyone? Oh, well, Brody would have. <laughs> I hit a brand, a friend's brand new snowboard, which was tied to the roof. It came flying off, and it. <laughs> And crushed into like a small oh. little like, thousand pieces. Well, that's on oh, him. He didn't no. do the straps tight enough. Good SFX, bro. Producer Jizz. Uh, back in December, myself and my girlfriend Claudia did a camper van trip in Queensland. I drove all the way from Brisbane to Port Douglas, didn't hit anything, but I let <laughs> Claudia drive for 15 minutes and she hit a duck mid flight. <laughs> <laughs> hit a duck. Not a duck. <laughs> Gen Z. Come on, she would have hit something. I've hit a few things. <laughs> um, I was at a service station and I was parked, went and got a snack, and I reversed straight into someone who was fueling up the car park. <laughs> Did Allie. fuel go everywhere? Jeez. Possibly. Yeah. Ali. <laughs> Tell you what, another holiday up for grabs. Barossa Valley, South Australia. I have been there. It is a beautiful spot. Isn't it? The wineries in South Australia are amazing. I actually got sent there for the launch of McLeod's Daughters. Oh, Really? Is that where they're in the Barossa? The yeah, are yeah, from? yeah. We're sitting there on some range, and the person from Channel Nine was doing a speech, and then they got us to look up over the hill, and all the cast came up riding horses. Amazing! That's quite cool. Yeah. Oh, they wouldn't have the budget for that these days. In very television. Is it still going that show? No, no they, right. did a, they did a remake, didn't they? No, oh. I thought they. I did thought re- that was packed to the rafters. No, it was. Yes. Wasn't that packed? 
get more packed to the rafters, or they did like <laughs> extra packed to the rafters. Yeah, yeah, really packed. Yeah. Swinging from yeah. the rafters, He's maybe heaving oh, at oh. the rafters. Yeah, 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 with something like that. All right, I could be wrong. Uh, let's send someone to the Barossa. <laughs> How about we go, Jackie boy? G'day, Jack. G'day. How you going? Good. You're better. You're How off to you the Barossa. Oh, you're kidding me. That is all time. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Have you got someone you want to take? I'll be taking my wife, Loz. Oh, oh good, on good on you, Jack. Jackie boy. She'll be thrilled with that. Are you sure you want to take your wife? <laughs> Definitely, mate. I think I'd uh, get a clip if I didn't take her. <laughs> Smart man, Jack. Smart man. <laughs> Have a great time. The wineries in the Barossa are just beautiful. Yeah, unreal. I've never been, so I'm really looking forward to just it. Thank you so, so much. Remember so when welcome. they uh, when they pour the glass, Jack, don't just scull it straight away. You're supposed to do that little squirrel thing yeah. and smell oh, it. Oh, it depends. Like- if you're in the restaurant, you can scull it. Okay. If you're in the tasting. Gotcha. I, okay. I, like Jack, uh, yeah. I like your energy, Jack. What are you up to today, brother? I'm headed to work. Um, yeah, so I'm just, yeah, I'm wrapped. What do you do um, for a living, I'm, mate? Yeah, I'm a plasterer. Oh, yeah, you um, can tell. I've, I've rung and spoke to you guys before. Oh, yeah? And uh, I sang my school song. Oh, you know how I feel about people sing their school songs. I love it. Yeah, oh, Jack. You Jack, loved it. What have you done? I loved, loved, it. loved it. Good on you, Jack. <laughs> do you want him yeah, to? Thank do you, want you so much. Do you want to do your school song one more time? Take us no out, Jack. Way. No way. <laughs> 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 All right. A brand new holiday up for grabs today. Uh, this this time. is a good one. If you like skiing, we could be sending you to the snowy mountains in New South Wales. If you like the snow, that's where you want to be. And the winning artist you're listening out for. <laughs> Five seconds of summer. Five sauce. I love a bit of five sauce. I love a bit of fi- five sauce too. What are five sauce doing now? I haven't heard about five sauce for a while. One of them's pulling a shift downstairs at Coles. <laughs> are they four seconds of summer now? <laughs> Post Malone. When you hear you like five, they only come out in summer, not winter. <laughs> when you hear five sauce ring and win here at Nova. I want to talk about something that Jace sent me on the weekend. And I'm not talking about the photo where you said you were nailing parenting life. That was the first image I got right. where he's looking after his children on a oh, yeah. Tell <laughs> beautiful us about that Sunday morning, right. I think it was. Yeah. I mean, it must have been midday because he's mm. got a glass of red sitting outside. Do you remember it was cold? Cold. It was cold yeah, on yeah, Sunday. Yeah. And there's these yeah. three kids sitting in shorts and a T-shirt yep. outside. Good. Um, hanging out with their dad with just rows and rows of scratchies. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Entertaining the kids. He's drinking red wine and the kids are scratching away. <laughs> scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Good Did they win anything? Good activity, that. <laughs> Did they win anything? Yeah, had he got eight bucks and I had to go back and get him more eight. Eight, oh, $8 one dollar scratch. More. Yeah, you would have loved that because then you're like, oh, I'll get another glass of red while he scratches those eight. Hey, guys, why don't you get the uh, crossword one? That takes a bit of time. Does it? Is yeah. That uh, yeah, all Cross- the little ones. The bingo too. Yeah, Mum and yeah. Dad used to get us to play Club Keno at the pub to shut uh, us up. Yeah, yeah. We used to do yeah. Keno Ke- yeah. as well. I don't really. Is Keno like bingo? Spot yeah. match win. Is it like bingo though? I think so. Yeah. No. Well, he was doing scratchies because he was outside in the Melbourne <laughs> freezing cold. His yeah. kids are in shorts and T-shirts. Okay. So I had a good laugh at that. And uh, then he said, also, he's been talking about it for a week since he's bought a new house. He ordered a skip. Good, Jay. Skip <sighs> to turf everything that wasn't making the move. It is amazing. It's a good clear out. It's, we have been in that house for seven and a bit years. Oh, there's stuff you would have accumulated. And it's quite, uh, it's, it's emotional as well because it's like our first family home, all yeah. three of us living there. But just the crap that you collect. Well, and it's I interesting. You, look, everything's got to go. It's got to go. Well, not we everything. And you're going to move into a new house with nothing. And at the moment, there seems to be a running theme of things that you have thrown out. So I got sent this photo of the skip saying, this is my Saturday. And Clint and I sat there for about 40 minutes laughing <laughs> at the things we could find. Because it seems you've only thrown out things that have to do with sport. And fitness. Yeah. So, <laughs> first we, of all, where should we start, Lauren? The boxing gloves. The boxing gloves. When, and where did you use those boxing gloves? When uh, they on were brand Harry new. Harry side, did you go boxing? I don't think you've ever used them. They're brand new. <laughs> and they're in the skip. No, no, no. Huddy went through a boxing stage. <laughs> of course he did. Well, <laughs> okay. next to that is the soccer goal. So, the kids aren't allowed to play soccer anymore. Soccer goal's in the bin. Honestly, I was like, you know what? We could use two, net- two sticks. Mm. I've got one. Yeah. There's a tailor made golf cap. <laughs> When are you playing golf? I went through a stage at the driving <laughs> range. <laughs> well, that's right next to the boogie board. So, oh, heaven forbid bo- the kids ever want to go to the beach because the boogie board's <laughs> in the skip. Oh, my God. You've really gone through it. No, 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 no. Imagine Jace on the boogie board. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> he, he, could, 
if you're hitching a ride on a boogie board. If you can, if you squint, you can see my piping hot so, rash. Yeah, so beach trips are cancelled. You know what else is cancelled this year, Clint? Because it's in the skip. <laughs> Christmas is <laughs> over. Christmas There's is the off. Christmas tree. Christmas what is gone. What are you ditching the Christmas He's put tree Put it in for. the skip. It's gone. But can I point out? Look how old the box. Like it's been no, gaffer taped every Christmas year. Is Christmas is cancelled. Christmas is cancelled. Throw the baubles too. Now that certainly joy. they're not going snorkeling because the snorkel's in the bin too. <laughs> snorkel's gone. The goggles and the snorkel. That's out. What's Kids. that? Um, there's a giant teddy bear. Enormous left. teddy bear. It's enormous. Did you We're, win that at the Royal Melbourne Show? The kids won it at some school fate. Well, guess yeah. what? They're not having fun with their teddy bear anymore. In the skip. Now the exercise mats. Yes. Those mats you put down on the ground to do yeah. yoga. Do your Pilates. Lou's not allowed to do that anymore. They're gone. The Nerf guns are out. There's about 19 Nerf guns. Oh, the Nerf guns were ridiculous. Those bloody bullets There's end up everywhere. also seems to be some sort of inflatable object front left. Is that the, um, is that the, you know, the staff's bar? That's the LD blow-up slide. No, it's the slip and slide. Yeah, from LD. You know, like the map. Oh. Yeah, the- yeah, well, the kids won't be having fun on that this summer. Well, they're not having any fun at all, it seems. No, all the bikes are in there. They're gone. All the trikes, the bikes. What did you keep, Jason? Oh, the beach chair. The beach chair. The beach chair's gone. You know I hate the beach. Yeah, well, everything to do with the beach is gone. And also, why? For someone who hates pets, why have you got a pet bed in there? (sighs) No, I think that's a pillow. Oh. Looks like a fluffy pet bed to me. I wouldn't want to be sleeping with that. I'd get (laughs) fur balls. (laughs) Were your children allowed to keep out of interest? They're allowed one box. One oh, box. No. How small was the box? No, no, no. Like a decent size. Like because the kids' rooms are full of crap. Mm. Like there's old Pokemon cards, footy cards everywhere. Like from last season and stuff. So we just I, I gave them a box each, <laughs> and I said anything you really want to keep, put in this box. And then in Huddy's December, Huddy's got like a crystal collection. They went through a lava lamp stage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in right. December, are you just putting up a wreath, or what are you doing? Yeah, no, no, we're going to need a new Christmas we're tree, guys. A new, we're getting a new Christmas tree. Okay. Because remember, in the house, I was showing Clint the photos, and there's like one of those nice rooms that you oh, have. the good room. The good room. And Clint was like, that's your Christmas mm. tree room. And I'm like, yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. No, the yeah. Christmas tree. Room. Yeah, you might need two. Where do we sit on a white Christmas tree? No. No, oh. absolutely not. I think they can be beautiful. No. It's very American, though, because there's snow here. Yeah, Christmas. right. Very American. I like the ones with the fiber optic no, lights in no, them. No, no. So you're no, not like no, wrapping no. the Get thing. a real one, mate. Stop being a Grinch. <sighs> real one's a lot of work, they isn't it? They smell so good. How much room you got in your skip? Well, it's funny you ask. That one's getting picked up today. The new one's getting oh, dropped yes, off. Please you send a living. photo. <laughs> Can't wait to see what's on the second tier of skip duties. <laughs> We've just gone 20 past seven. All right, coming up, details on Nova's $250,000 hide and seek. But next... The latest scandal to rock a school here in Melbourne. We'll dive into it on the other side of this. And this morning, just waking up, listening to your news, Clint, I was like, bloody hell, Mm. again. In 2024, there's so much to worry about as a parent, and then you hear a story like this. A teenage boy's been arrested after 50 girls at Backers Marsh Grammar had fake AI nude images of them created and circulated on social media. Uh, Years 9 to 12, uh, the girls are from. So is that it's using their faces from public photos from yeah. the internet or so someone's yeah or someone's gone to their Instagram page, chopped out their face, put it through some sort of AI technology. I don't really understand how it works, and then it creates yeah an, a on new someone photo. else's body, right? But just like oh, it's terrifying for parents, whether it's real yeah. or not, humiliating have, for the kids as absolutely. well. Absolutely, to have photos like that circulated through the school. Um, since then, a uh, teenage boy has been arrested. So why is this happening? We've got an expert in this morning. Susan McLean worked in the Vic- Victoria Police Force for near on 27 years. She's now a cyber safety expert. Susan, good morning. Good morning. How, morning. How concerning is this? Like, it's really concerning. And my heart goes out to those girls. Um, the fact that someone who they probably thought they could trust um, took these photos off their, their social media platforms and then manipulated them into nude AI images is just abhorrent. So when you say someone they trust, technically it could be someone they've never met, right? Like, it could, you know, any Joe blog could have access to their social pages if they're public and get their face and make them AI? Correct. That could happen. But when we see it that is a school-based event, if you like, yep. it is nearly 99% another student at the yeah, school. Yeah, right. Right. And so, what's the point? Like, why would you target a whole group from one school mm, if yeah. you weren't there to see the harm? And so, these images, because we've seen them not just with school kids, we've seen them with celebrities, we've seen them with lots of people. Yeah. They, 
if you're looking at it, you can't tell it's not real, right? No, no. Look, since people still talk about Photoshop, and yeah. your Photoshop was pretty good, but you could normally tell the head was different to the body. Yeah. With AI, I mean, there's degrees of AI, and there's some AI that I would look at and go, yeah, that's fake. Mm. But most of it, the good AI, and, and the good AI is free, like it doesn't yeah. cost you anything to have these pro- programs, um, is n- you cannot discern it to the naked eye. Yeah, it is right. extremely realistic. So this is technology. This is the way the world is going. All of this is readily available to kids, to adults, to anybody. Uh, how do we stop it? Are our rules and laws here in Victoria and in Australia tough enough? Have they caught up with technology? Yeah, look, I won't say caught up 100%, but we're better than many parts of the world. Um, generating a naked image of a child is classed as child abuse material, regardless whether it's a cartoon, an anime, or real, or AI. Right. So we do have that covered. Um, Even if another child the- creates it themselves? Absolutely, because you are considered legally responsible for your actions from the yep. age of 10. Right. From the age of 10 to 14, um, the police then have to prove that you knew what you were doing is wrong before charges can be laid. But certainly, you know, young people, when we have a children's court, young people are presented before the court on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. And I think we need to send a very quick mm. and clear message that this is not only disrespectful, hurtful and horrible, it is criminal and mm. there will be consequences. No questions asked, no slap on the wrist. You yeah. know that this is wrong. Yeah, 100%. Susan, um, so 50 female students in this case have been impacted from years 9 to 12. From your experience, your vast experience, how harmful can this be? Horrible. Like, no one is going to know the mental health impact on an individual victim, and that's going to come down to a lot of things. But even the most resilient, mentally well young person cannot help but be affected by this. Mm. As we've seen with the crime of sextortion that targets predominantly teenage boys, that previously mentally well young people are taking their own lives because of the fact that nude images are being threatened to be released on the internet. I can see this type of behaviour ending in tragedy, unfortunately. That's what scared the hell out of me when I read it this morning. I'm like, uh, as a parent, I'm like, I'm scared enough about my kids being teased at school and then the way technology is going. Because, like, in all honesty, how easy is it to create these sort of photos? Really easy. I looked at an AI generator uh, program on the computer recently and it was as simple as uploading, you know, a couple of photos, pressing a button, and then it would give you a whole lot of options that you Week. Well, just just and, quickly, yeah. the companies that are releasing these apps are they are they responsible in any way in the eyes of the law? Well, no, because their argument will be not my fault that my product was misused. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that that's the line that they will take. And but we need the social media platforms to try yeah. to. I mean, they should be identifying nude images, AI or otherwise. Yeah, and should be either blocking them. Or, I mean, they do remove them very, very quickly, but we need to do better at that because the harm occurs the longer the images are online and the wider the spread. So, so if we can get it removed quickly, we can reduce some of the harm. So, Susan, what? how do we stop it? Is it parents talking to children? Is it schools taking responsibility to mums and dads driving to work this morning thinking, oh, my gosh, this could happen to my child or this you know, someone that my child knows might do this. How do we educate these kids to try and stop this stuff from happening? Yeah, so we need comprehensive education in schools, absolutely. But we need parents, like it's interesting, the parents driving to school going, oh, my God, this could happen to my child, yes. But there'll be parents that are driving now that will be going, oh, not my kid, my kid wouldn't do that. Mm. This happened, I can guarantee, in a home on a parent's watch. Yeah. So it is a parent's responsibility to know what their child is doing online, who they're doing it with, and to ensure that A, mm. they are safe, and B, not inflicting harm on someone else. Mm. So w- everyone has a role to play. It's not yeah. just, you know, one particular demographic, but parents need to step up to the mark. Your sons are watching pornography. We know that that's happening in primary school, and you need to be the yeah. voice of mm. reason, respect. Yeah. Mm. In I think their the kids life. need you know to know so the consequences I'm ga- as well. I was I think about to say, I'm going gonna, gonna to push right. back on okay. you a little bit here, Sharon. Sorry, I was, I'm just going to push back on you a bit here, Susan, because I sit here and go, yeah, it's our responsibility, but you can't watch your kid 24-7. Like what Loz no. is sort of saying, they need to see the implications being very harsh if they go down that route. 
Oh, absolutely. And no, no parent can watch 24-7. But, you know, you don't allow your kids with phones and devices in bedrooms and bathrooms. You do have a set of rules about technology use. You do regularly check their devices, know their passcodes and passwords. It doesn't mean nothing will happen and it doesn't mean you'll see everything. Mm -hmm. You're having a crack at it. You cannot live in la-la land and think, not my kids. No, yeah. I agree. I there agree also with... comes a stage where you surely have to empower your kids. Exactly. Well. It's not easy, you mate. Know. Like, I turn my back for a second and they've grabbed the phone. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, Susan, I... Sorry, I was just going to say, Susan, thanks so much yeah. uh, for your insight this morning. We do really appreciate it. Susan McLean from uh, Cyber Safety Solutions. And it's worth noting for kids in cars, Kids Help Wine. 1-800-551-800 is the number to call if you are in strife. I think Susan was right when she said that you know, we these ki- the kids that are doing it, they need the rules and the laws to crack down. Yeah. But other kids need to be aware of the consequences of if you That's do what this it is. stuff. Because kids can do dumb things. Absolutely not. And if they and, think and that they it's do dumb things. and they think it's funny and they think that it's just a yeah. bit of oh, school banter teasing other kids at school... It's a criminal offence. Absol- like, to a certain degree, it's a bit old school, but they need the shit scared out of them mm. in this regard. It's like, you do this, you'll go to jail. Mm. It's as simple as that. Yeah, it's, it's scary. <sighs> All right, it's just gone 24 to 8. Coming up next, $250,000 on the line. Is it hide and seek time? Hide and seek, hide and hide and seek. Nova's $250,000 hide and seek. The search for Jason DeLoren starts soon, Melbourne. No, we're still here. I thought about leaving. 601 this morning. (laughs) Uh, I'll tell you what, buddy, because I missed my coffee shop yesterday and I walked in this morning and he was like, thought you went into hiding yesterday. Yeah, had him rattled. Yeah. Um, sorry. What? What? You walked in this morning. Yeah. Didn't get us one. No, he just got one for himself this morning. Obviously. I got a pickle. I was running late. Didn't get the rounds of coffee. Oh, is that how it works? Is it? <laughs> this is why we're not taking you in. No, I'm in Clintside. I make sure I stop every morning and get you know coffee for you. Yeah, coffee guys, for guys, this oh, is he not just what grabbed we're doing one here. for himself this, this morning, did he? Just one. Just you found time to stop Self- for yourself. Selfish it's, little piggy. But not for us. <laughs> That's all right. I'll remember. Put when in I, the memory bank. When I pull up at 5.40 tomorrow Ma- morning. Ma- just get two coffees, Just two. Please. Just one yeah, for Lauren. When was the last time, time you got it? Well, they're not on the way. Oh, don't you start. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? You want to play this game? <laughs> Guys, let's not do this. We're about to be living together. Yeah, don't push my buttons today. Good luck, you too. We are about to leave at <laughs> any time. Any time. Could be during this show. Could be tomorrow's show. We could leave it to the last minute and leave on Friday. We will go into hiding. We will broadcast and live at the location and stay there until someone knocks on the door and says, Jason Lauren, come out, come out, wherever you are. $250,000 on our head, but... The money Fast. drops. Exactly. So the faster you find us, the more you win. We have heard we get from... Um, out and seek quickly, Melbourne. Now, remember I was saying, look, don't stress if you're like, oh, look, I can't run around during the day and try and find you guys. Just look in your area. Like, before you go to work, if you're out for a morning walk, look at some of the places you walk past. You know, could we be hiding in there? It will not be a house, it will not be a hospital, and it will not be a school. Everywhere else... Is fair game and what Loz, suburb will we be in? People are even flying in to what Melbourne to play this game. What do you mean? If we, if we didn't have enough people no, from not. Sydney already coming in, Maddie is a podcaster from Sydney. Morning, morning, Maddie. Morning, how are you? We're good. So you listen to the pod? I do. Yeah. Oh, you don't like the Sydney shows? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You don't like the Sydney breakfast show, so you listen oh, to no, us. No. Yeah, no, no. good on you, Maddie. Um, now, <laughs> Maddie, uh, you have flown into Melbourne to play hide and seek. Is that true? Yes, that is correct. Oh my Maddie, god, Maddie, I know. <laughs> Are you here now, Maddie? No, I fly in at two p.m. today. Oh. oh. What are your thoughts, early doors? Any, Sorry. A, a, what, what are you suspecting, early doors? What are you thinking? Uh, look, I've. Taking some clues from what has been said already, I've started an Excel spreadsheet. Oh, oh my god! Yep. yep, yep. And look, you've got to be in it to win it, right? So yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm gonna take it all on. I'm gonna take it um, all on board and just, pack your you know, dumbbells, Maddie. Of having all day. It's cold and wet in Melbourne this morning, so rug up. Hey, Maddie, I will say um, you have picked up on something. She has been listening to the clues so far. 
Mm. Not official clues, but we may the have chat. just been dropping things well, here and there. I'm not good at keeping secrets. Lauren, uh, <laughs> Lauren made the pilgrimage to check out the location on the weekend, on the long weekend. Oh, yeah. mm. I did. Were you confident with it, Loz? Um, I don't want to say too much. <laughs> I'm nervous. All Jace keeps walking around saying to me I was is, going to ask you how much. Lauren, just remember, no one knows where we're going, so stop talking. I'm like, why am I sitting in this meeting? I'm not, I've just put tape over my mouth. I'm not going to say anything. No, how much petrol did you use getting to the location? I drive an Oh, you do e-car. too. Oh, no, I wasn't in my car, though. I didn't drive my car. Smart. Because I was worried someone might follow it. Bit of petroleum. Mm, bit of petrol. Don't bit answer of diesel. It. Don't answer it. There might have been some clues in my news. You know, you never know. No, there wouldn't have been clues in you. No. <laughs> there's nothing no, in your there's no news. no news in the news. <laughs> <laughs> it is a $250,000 hide and seek. You can make a dynamic entrance with the uh, Lexus LBX City SUV at Lexus of Brighton, just along the Nepean Highway. Travelling interstate, you reckon? That's, that's, that's really committed. Fine. That is absolutely... Well, I mean... There's a lot of money up for grabs. It's quarter of a million bucks, guys. Life-changing cash. That's the thing. We could go into hiding at any time, Melbourne, so get ready to play. Hey, um, the reason Clint isn't coming with us is because tonight you are hitting the pool and becoming an athlete. I'm gunning for Paris, Jace. I'm gunning for Paris. The man up against you in the pool joins us next. Carl Stefanovic on the air after this here at Nova. Tonight on Channel 9... Our man, Clint Stefanovic, will be in the pool. It is the celebrity race. You've already badged me. I cannot wait to watch tonight. Mm. Channel 9, you'll be able to watch it. And the man who will be going up against you is joining us this morning via Zoom from the set of the Channel 9 Today Show. Clint's enemy in the pool tonight. (laughs) With cigar in mouth, Carl Stefanovic in his dressing room. I'm already a winner. I mean, poor old Clint. Poor old Clint. I know he's been training. He's lost 200 kilos. Well, he looks amazing, but d- I shan't be training and I shall be winning. He um, <laughs> he has seriously stripped down Carlos. He has been on a fitness campaign for about Very two and nimble. a half months for this. Doesn't he look good, though? He's. I watched him on the week. I do love watching Clint on the weekend. Uh, there's, there was some story about phones and having to put your phone away for two weeks. And um, the news reader goes, oh, well, how would you go clip without your phone? He goes, oh, not good. Not good. I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> yeah, he's got no poker face, does he? <laughs> he looks so good. He looked really good, Clint. Have you been training for this? Because I think that's mm. an outrage. I've been doing a bit of a shred, which is hard around oh. here because these two just, buddy. There was, there was a it's massive. Like raps and- uh, Carl, there was a massive fight here the other day because Clint's like, hey, guys, yeah. I've got to get out early because I'm going for a swim. Mm. <laughs> and Lauren called him on it. What? How often do you go swimming? And he's he like, reckons he swims all, all the, time. the time. Carlos, all the time. have you ever seen him cutting laps in a pool? I've never seen him. I've, I've seen him cutting laps in a pool. Ah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one big laugh. <laughs> yeah, they're about as successful as you are in the pool, to be honest. You got a hairy chest. Are you going to wear a rash shirt? I'm getting it all out there, getting my tats out there, all the barley tattoos. Oh, um, yeah. man, I'm just gonna... You've got shit tats mm, too, don't yeah. you? So does do. Clint. <laughs> yeah. Have Chink, you... they call it in Queen. Shit ink. Chink. <laughs> Have you seen Clint's <laughs> pamper? <laughs> no, I've got a, I've got, I've got a tribal tattoo. <laughs> What? Show me. <laughs> show, show see, you'll see it tonight. Show, us the, tat. Right. show us the tat. Show us the tat. All right, Hang here we on. Go. He's going to get his kid off for you. Right. Here you go. Kid's coming off. Here we go. There's a tribal <laughs> tattoo. Just now that's the- shink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, what about this, though? Here I got go. this when I was at you. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> What's that what does that say? say? What does it say? Well, <laughs> it's controversial because when I got it done, I wanted it to, to say to be real and to to love, right? And then, like twenty years later, I'm in this um, oh, no. pool with this, with this Japanese lady. I said, "This, what does this mean?" She goes, "It doesn't mean that." And I said, well, "What does it mean?" She goes, "It, mean, it means you really love yourself." <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, God. I think there's a lot of people that ask for that tattoo because my friend wanted, um, she wanted to be true uh, tattooed on her side here, right. and then she got a boob job and it stretched, oh, oh, and no. then, but it wasn't in English. And when she said, "What does this mean?" <laughs> The literal translation was keep it real, and she's got keep it real tattooed across her. She's got keep it real. (laughs) (laughs) Away from the pool for a second, Carl, I've just realised this is a big year for you um, because obviously 
you are about to clock up the big five zero, my friend. I know you don't oh, like. A yeah. par- I know you don't like a party. Yeah, we're um, on. Yeah, we're on. Yeah. Have you got? Uh, you got any plans? Well, um, I'm going to do something after the Olympics. Obviously, um, I wanted to do it before, oh. but it hasn't. Changed. I've got paper for the Olympic events. Um, <laughs> what and during? I, I've got a bit. I've got something plan- that I'm in the process of planning now, and it's not going to be anything big. But I'll, I'll do something overseas because that's that's when the, my actual birthday is. But then I'm going to have something in September here, which I'd love you all to come to. Um, mm. Which will be it'll it'll. Be, I'm going to do a country and western party. Oh, that's, oh, fun. that's cool. I mean, that's a yeah. good idea. Clint will be there. Yeah, <laughs> he'll be off his detox by then. I want to come in on the back of a horse. <laughs> Um, so I'll have to get a piggyback, Clint. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I look like the bloody village people rocking up. Yeah, you will, like actually. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I won't look great. <laughs> hey, um, before the big swim tonight, Carlos, I don't oh, know yeah. what your prep yeah. is, but we've got a spray tanner about to come in to give our boy a spray tan because we don't I'm want him embarrassing himself. That's a good idea. Why don't I do that? I am so pale right now. Mm. I'm so sh- pale. Anyway, you're not going to miss me in the pool. I'm not putting any prep in. I understand why you feel the pressure, Clint, um, but uh, I'm all about just trying to make 50 metres. I don't think I can make 50 metres. It's a oh, long way uh, in just, the pool. I can do 500 metres swimming backstroke with a pina colada, <laughs> you know. <laughs> if you could do that um, shirt up before d- you do anything, I'd really appreciate it, to be honest. <laughs> well, he's, he's fully <laughs> taken the shirt <laughs> off. <laughs> Preview <laughs> of the great stuff you're going to see tomorrow. Night. <laughs> what a preview! It's just it's just one button at a time. Every minute we're getting another button taken off. It's like I'm on a naughty bloody Zoom call with something I didn't ask for. Like, you're, I've been clickbaited. You're not like the girl in the show in the pamphlet. I just can't believe I'm out the front of a of a nine sporting event going to watch the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> what a showcase! So what are we? Are we swimming okay. the? Uh, are we swimming the anchor leg? I believe. What well, is we, the ankle leg? First story. We, who cares, really? Um, we're mm. Team Carlos is Carl. Kerry Potthast won gold. Who's Sydney Kerry Truth. Potthast? She's a beach volleyball legend. Oh. And uh, Susie O'Neill, DJ Lazy, Lazy Susan. <laughs> is that her name? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the only thing that I can take um, any comfort out of is the fact that I think that I might be swimming against Jonathan Thurston, who is no, <laughs> there's no doubt he can. So I mean I've got I'm going to have a little bit of an advantage over JP. Yeah, yeah he's going to um, struggle for fifty meters. Oh mate, that'll be a rocket in the bottom of the pool. Let me tell you. He'll be doing side. What was rescue rescue stroke called? Is it kid <laughs> yeah, side stroke? Side stroke. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, the side stroke. The, the the doggy paddle as well. How good. <laughs> now that takes me back. <laughs> All right, well, tonight, the 2024 <laughs> Celebrity Relay Race, you can catch it on Channel 9 and 9 now at the prime time of, is it 9 p.m.? <laughs> it's, I think it's 9.30, actually. Uh, heck, 9 o'clock. Good 9 luck. o'clock. Good luck tonight, Watch Carl. these two. Will they sink or swim? We can't wait to see your spray tan as well, Clint. I will not be I will not be swimming. I'll be sinking. I love you, Clint. I'll see you at the bottom. Love you, Carlos. Cool. Bye-bye. Good luck, guys. Okay. Thanks, Carlos. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Hey, uh, it's just gone. Two to eight. 13, 24, 10. We got time? Yeah. Love to take some calls on bad tats. Oh, yeah. No offence. No, not off you guys at all. Mine's very <laughs> mine's very on trend. There's many regrettable tattoos out there tattoo. in the world. Oh, my favourites are the ones when people get the meaning wrong. Get it in another language. Like my friend. She yep. has keep it real. 13. Inflated boobies. 13, 24, 10. Let's on try and find the worst tats in Melbourne. <laughs> we are talking... Shocking tattoos. All born out of the fact that I've got to get the rig out tonight, swimming at the National Championships in Brisbane. Carl Stefanovic just joined us. He's got a few bad tattoos. In fact, he he ripped the shirt off. We'll, we'll put some footage up on our J- so- Jason Lawrence socials. Minute. There was yeah. another button unbuttoning yeah. on that. I'll tell you what, I haven't done a bloody FaceTime call where someone's done that for a long time. No, I bet. Hmm. Um, but we were talking about <laughs> tattoos and we could see his terrible tattoo, which is it Japanese, did he say? Yeah. Yeah. In Japanese, I've got and a it, tribal it doesn't tattoo translate my... to what he thought it did. That's no. where they go horribly wrong. It's the old translation. Have you got, what do you got? Got a couple? I've got like a couple of sentimental ones that I absolutely love, and then I've got one shocker um, that matches a boy in Scotland. Right. Is that the one Where's on the that? lower back? No, it's very, very tiny. Right. It's hidden. It's concealed. No, it's just on my side, but it's tiny. Mm. Tiny. What is your tribal one say? No name? idea. You don't even know what it says. Great warrior, I think it means. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Great warrior. Brave warrior. Where did you Wicked get it? Who man. swims fast. Where did you get it? Let me Google it. I got it, it just... in um, down the peninsula on schoolies in oh, the year 2000. Oh, you didn't even get it? 
overseas. Wow. You've got to get them in, in Rye. Yeah. Rye, down Rye Way. I'm the clean skin. Rye Carnivals on. <laughs> I love the Rye Carnival. All right, 13, 24, 10. Let's find the shocking tats around Melbourne. Jai, good morning. Good morning, guys. Have you got a shocker? Yes, I've actually got my custom number plate tattooed on my leg. <laughs> of course oh, you do. Jai. What does your number oh, plate Jai. say, Sick one. Jai? Uh, Jai Lux. I drive a Hilux and it's Jai Lux. <laughs> Jai Lux. Good on you. How old were you when Good you got it? Yeah. 18. How old are you now? I'm only 20. Oh, only two years ago. On a scale of one to ten, how much do you love it? Um, I reckon seven out of ten. Oh, so you yeah. still Could like it? Mm. Yeah. Why don't no we change this to there. a Ford Ranger? It's really oh, all no. going to not work, is it? No. Jai Lux, like a I'm clean skin, <laughs> but for some reason, on a boys' one? trip in Vegas, we almost got you should, a you matching tattoo. We almost. Yeah. Well, that's one. where all good, like, I'd terrible tattoo stories that. begin, don't they? And boys' trips in Vegas. Remember Lou came home once, my wife, because she was looking at getting a tattoo. And as she was getting changed for the shower, I was like, what is that? And she had the tattoo oh, the on transfer. her hip. And I thought it was a real tattoo, but there's a company you can like apply mm. for a transfer of a tattoo that you're thinking no, about getting. No, when you go to get a tattoo, they put it on like a transfer. Like a, oh, so you can do it at most oh, tattoo yeah, parlors. Yeah, 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 because yeah, oh. they place it to make sure you're happy with where it is. Well, how and it then, but then she had it for like two weeks just to see if mm. she really liked it. Uh, two weeks is a lot. Yeah. My second, I went to a- That's a good um, idea though. I went to a bar opening and got the- Remember oh, the compass? Oh, that's the compass. right. <laughs> it's on the back of the arm. Show me. I think it's so dainty. I forgot it was there. Yeah, well, you, you were down it to at get the Ugly home. Duckling in Richmond, <laughs> weren't yeah, you? I was. Ugly Duckling. Uh, Let's go to Dan in Barrack. Dan, uh, bad tattoos. What do you got? Hey, guys, just give me a surprise to get producer, but I've actually got two. I've got one that I was under influence in high school. I've oh, got one what? when I just got out of custody um, at Ravenhall, and I got a stick and poke with a fork. Hang on, you just got out of jail and you went and got a tattoo of a fork? No, so I was in jail and they used a fork to give me a tattoo. Oh! Oh, What is the tattoo of? It's just a love heart on my arm. Oh, They they use charcoal from out in the garden. They use charcoal? Yeah. From the garden. They yeah, they sharpened it up on the concrete. And, okay. Um, okay, good yeah. to know our jail systems are just really managing things beautifully. Dan, they didn't offer you the henna, uh, the henna transfer like my wife had? It was just straight to the... Henna, not henna. Is it henna? No, 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 straight to, straight yeah. to the arm. Did it get and, infected, um, Dan? Um, no, because I don't have the best medical systems in jail. Um, mm. So it was just red and just puffy and I just had to put up with it. You just had to put up with it. Good on you, mate. Do you love the heart that you got there with the fork? Um, not really. I'm thinking they're getting it removed. Are you going to get it removed? And what's the other one you've got? Um, and then I've got a um, smiley face on my backside. A smiley okay. face on your backside. Where did you get that one? Not in jail? No, that was done with a knife no, in jail. I was, un- I was under the influence of some... Um, yep. So bad idea. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad yeah. idea. Yes. What? Asking the second question. <laughs> yes. Not getting one under... You, they're not supposed to do it when you're under the influence of alcohol. I think they're also asked, not supposed to do it with a fork. I think we asked seven questions too many. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, he, I mean, he was more interesting He's than old mate. chatty, wasn't he? Old mate just got his number plate. This guy's got a good story. Get let's, him back on, I reckon. Oh, no joke. Let's go to South Yarra. Get Hello, him back. Tess. He could give you a <laughs> DIY job, Clint. <laughs> Tess. Tess. So, Tess, you were serving Hi. time when you got yours? <laughs> Definitely not. What have you got? Um, I have a few, but one that comes to mind, I had an old van, and I couldn't ever for the life of me remember the height of it. So I've got that tattooed on the inside of my finger and it stayed <laughs> just so I could go through Macca's drive through and see if I could fit. <laughs> so you got the height of the van tattooed on your finger so you never oh, I love that. have a situation you know where what? you get wedged in a drive through They should make that a government law. If you hit the Montague Street Bridge, you yes. have to get the height of your That's vehicle good. tattooed yeah. on your finger. <laughs> yep. I well love done. It. Yep. Wow. A- That's has it come in handy a couple of times? It has, but the van's died like two years ago, so I've oh. got it now stuck on my finger and... No use for it. Beautiful what? memories, Tess, though. Beautiful memories. You need a of van, the van the same height. We should get that for Lauren. Remember, she drove a car in the oh, car park and hit too. the roof? I sure did. <laughs> Twice. A couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> well, All that's right. what that warning thing is for, but that's. No one's actually taking notice of that. The giant chain scratching along your roof? Nah, yeah. I'd ignore it too. Separate. Just, just there for looks. Gone 11 past eight. Clear the phone lines. 5K question is next. 13, 24, 10. One question can win you five grand next on Nova.
Here we go. One question. Can Let's we do it. $5,000. Let's head to Windsor this morning. Mar- Mar- here. Maria, good morning. Maria. Hey, guys. How you going? Hey. We're good. Oh, good. We've got your little description here as cat lady. How many cats you got? I am a cat lady. I got two beautiful kitty cats. Two good beautiful on you, Maria. kitty cats. She sounds like a cat lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All I'm right, also a dog lady. <laughs> oh, there you go. We love dog people, Maria. Let's see if we can win you some cash to help feed all those pets you've got. Do you want a oh, yes. easy question for 50 bucks, a medium question for 500 or a difficult question and go for the $5,000 question? Uh, uh, I'm going to go 500 today. 500 dollars She sounds like Ace Ventura, pet detective. She, she does. Knows. Yep. Got the kids to watch that on the weekend. Still holds up. It's a great movie. All right, Maria, for $500, I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to get a 3 2 1 countdown. You have to answer in that time. If your answer is correct, you'll win the cash. It is that simple. Here we go. Your $500 question is What food can never go bad? Three, two, one. <sighs> Maria? Yes. Did you say anything? No, then? no, no. That's my bad. Oh, oh did you have I her volume down? I had her turned down. Jason. Oh. That's, that's on me. Yeah, that's that's on me. Okay. What did you say? That Did you answer? I said canned food. Canned but. food. Yeah. Oh. That is on. No. Uh, we have to go another question. That's oh. on me. It's not fair. It's not fair. We've got to go another question. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, it was wrong. Anyway, the answer was honey. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> but you are getting a, another question. Yeah. So All righty. Silly, silly man. <laughs> Shut up, I've Thank got a, you. I've got a lot of buttons here. <laughs> okay, right. for five hundred dollars. Oh god, yep. if, this, if this goes off, this you're gonna paying be- it. <laughs> you're paying it, big boy. What element <laughs> does the chemical symbol AU stand for? Three, two, AU, one, uh, Australia. It's <laughs> not Australia. It is gold. Gold, one of the more commonly used oh ones. A wow. 79th on the periodic table if Isn't you're it? into science. For those playing at home. Did you know that? Do you know all your periodic oh, yes, table? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's my bad. Burlium, blah, I turned it down, which is it was into cats. That's my bad. I'm sorry, sorry, Maria. Oh, well, she got a second chance because Jay stuffed it up. She did. We play again tomorrow. One question, $5,000. They're coming up next, Clint. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. Mm. Good surprise, bad Can't surprise. <laughs> good for us. No, good for Clint too, actually. We'll go there next Smells on like Nova. <laughs> right across Melbourne. <laughs> this what is, have you done? This is Nova. No. I'll, t- I'll tell you in a sec. <laughs> <This> <laughs> what is, did you do? This is Nova 100. You're on the air with Jace and Lauren. We are doing it. Thanks to our mates at What If. It is Aussie for travel. Clint Stanaway tonight is a very big night yes. on the sporting calendar. Can I just say, I am not a toy. <laughs> Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. This morning you, you are. You sign yourself up for things and then we have a bit of fun with it. So, you have signed up for a swimming race tonight. It is going to be broadcast on the Nine mm. Network, Channel Nine. Wide Water Sports. What time? I think about nine o'clock. Prime nine time. o'clock. Mm. It's a celebrity relay. Carl Stefanovic's in it. Yep. Uh, uh, Sylvia Jeffrey. Payne. Sylvia Pete, Jeffrey's Peter Michelle Alexander, Payne. who just played the Nova mm-hmm. Red Room. Yeah. Owen Wright, surfer. So you are going to be swimming. Um, we've had much show discussion mm. about what you're going to wear. Yes. What did you decide on? Um, well, I'm wearing... Uh, you doing well, speedos? It's a bit of a surprise. Is in the walkout gear? No, not the walkout oh, gear. What are you no. actually swimming in? I'm wearing like these, the knee-high type. Oh, the shorts. Tidy shorties things. Short. No, yeah. uh, no not the full body I don't think I'll go suit. speedos. I mean, I might, depending on... Your surprise and how well it works. Oh, okay. Well, so we decided that if Clint was going to be stripping down to his little DTs, he needed to get the the rigs in order, but he needed mm. the tan. Well, is, I don't know if the rigs in order yet, but anyway. well, you talk about it a lot, so I think you think it's in order. <laughs> so when you were out of the studio, um, they started setting up the tent of shame. We're getting him a spray tan. Yeah, the tent Smells. of shame was getting set up, and yeah. it's not it, the tent of shame; it's the tent of tan, bro. Tent of tan. Um, <laughs> I just I eavesdropped on a. Little comment Clint made to our executive mm-hmm. producer, the thumb. Thumb, what did Clint ask you? If we could get something to fill out the speedos a little further. <laughs> <laughs> which is it's a, coming which is tissues. Essential. Okay, so tissues. <laughs> Well, that's what he thinks you're oh. going to stuff it with. Oh, God, people see those coming well, up. What do you do, though? excited for so the I'm race. Not, 
have you have you ever had a spray tan? Never had a spray tan. So you're more of a solarium guy have back in the day. Artificial tan, shame. Yeah, back in the day. Back in I, the day, I did. when your dad was the tan man, he was the was tan his man. Number plate. That's right. So when you get a spray tan, you wear as little as possible because you don't want, you right. don't want tan lines, right? So if you wear like short, like right. your undies in a like little boxer short situation, you're gonna get that line. Oh. So you need to wear the bare minimum. So this is what we wear when we have spray okay, tans. So you can deal with that. Is it a mask? No, no. it's not a mask. I've, I've, I've worn one of these for a oh It's a paper G-string. Oh, my. Jeez. Jeez. So, it's a paper G-string that just covers the anus and the mini oh, so you don't, bit of the so, package. So, this big bit over the anus it really the small gets, bit at the front. No, the other one. Oh, the <laughs> other one. Sorry. <laughs> it really gets, it gets in every crevice, doesn't it? So, then you do that. Can I have a squeeze? Yep. And then you put one of these oh, in your I hair. Oh, in there. <laughs> now, Cliff, you need to put one of these in your on your hair to hair net because you've got blonde hair and you don't want the tan to go on your beautiful oh, blonde locks. Okay. So we're going to so need more tissues to fill out the All paper, right. G. And then we wear these things called sticky feet. Sticky feet? What yeah, is sticky so feet? You take the little sticky bit off. And then you stand on them. Any woman or man who's had a spray tan would know all about these. And then you stand your feet on it and then you don't get tan on the soles of your feet. A lot, of, a lot of work being a chick, eh? Oh, well, men do it too. Yeah. You a lot of work. Yeah. yeah, and I'm glad you finally acknowledge that. You're welcome. Oh, Clint. You didn't exfoliate. You're supposed to exfoliate. Did you exfoli- what do you oh mean? Oh my god! Exfoliate? You look like a chef with Every- that hair net on. <laughs> Are you what do you mean? The- you look like you work the- in a soup kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't know how far down you think your hairline is, but I'd push that back, <laughs> or you're going to get a tan line right across there. <laughs> or do they paint the face as well? Yes. yes. Oh no, we can't be doing that. Well, you need the face, otherwise okay. it's out of. You look like Trump. Out of whack. <laughs> like a little top <laughs> like deck. Trump with the eyes. What well, color are we going? So there's two colours. Okay. We've got the beautiful girls from Spray Oz yes. in this morning. M does the best spray tan in Melbourne. Okay. The only problem is when you were out of the studio before, she asked us which tan No, don't use. be playing these games, otherwise I'm not doing it. Oh, settle down. <laughs> this is a gift. You don't, you, you accept You're being, gifts. You are what being colour are we going? Well, there's very two colours. There's natural or deep dark. Oh, I'm not doing deep dark. That's what she's Just mixed up. No, I'm not doing deep dark. We thought the dark. deep dark might be better. No. no because then we can spray on your abs. No, <laughs> it'll no. Make it, it's going to make you look slim. <laughs> We've got a I'm stencil. Not, I'm not a toy. You're not Again, a toy. you are being very ungrateful. Very ungrateful. Very ungrateful. Do you, want to look, do you want to look like David Hasselhoff when you dive in the water? I tonight? do, yeah. Yeah, you need the da- dive. David Hasselhoff from back then or David Hasselhoff <laughs> now? <laughs> David Hasselhoff back then. <laughs> now, are we allowed to do it? Or do you, we've got the professionals here from Spain. You? Yeah, can I just do the tan? What, you're going to have a hoon on the gun? I imagine it's just like spraying a fence. Not that I've ever done that. <laughs> what, are you going to tag him? Bit of yeah. graffiti style. Yes. All right, uh, we're yeah. going to go to a song when we come back. Clint, if you want to start derobing. So what are you going to wear? You're going to wear the paper G-string? Wear the paper G. You don't want lines, man. I'm not wearing the G-string. I'll wear my speedos. Okay, get your, get your dick togs on. Okay. But, <laughs> but Jesus. Well, Isn't that what they're called? The DTs? No, they're called the, they're just gonna, DTs. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to need those tissues, though. <laughs> we're going to need another one. We're need more than that. <laughs> Can you, Brady, can you go get that giant roll of paper <laughs> towel in the kitchen? Tonight, we head to the pool. Uh, celebrity swimming race at the Australian Trials. If you I'm get a so world record. I said yes. <laughs> out of curiosity, Clint. It's all the big stars of Channel 9, Clint. If you get a world record, like if you get a good mm. time. I'm going to Paris. Yeah, could you qualify? Oh, absolutely. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm not sure you could. Oh, yeah. But I think we're probably safe from that scenario <laughs> anyway. Okay, so Clint is swimming in the uh, celebrity race in the World Champ. Let's go with World Championships it tonight. Is, it's, yep. On Channel Everyone 9, you can watching. tune in at around 9 to watch it. But yep. he needs to look the part. If he's going to be in his Speedos, he needs to be nice and bronzed. So I've brought my girlfriend, M from Spray Oz. I do the best spray tans in Melbourne in this morning with her portable booth. Morning, M. Morning. You have the job of tanning Clint. I know, lucky what a me. lucky lady! <laughs> so talk us through it. We've got him in his paper G string, and he's yes. got his little paper. Mm. Um, have you gone? Sorry, have you gone the G or the speedo? I've gone the speedo. Gotcha. There's two types of tan, and what are the two yes. colours? So we have our natural and we have our deep dark. Oh, yeah. I've been instructed to do deep dark today <laughs> because you now? you've got to shoot to the airport, so there's not much time for developing, so we have to do deep dark. Okay. okay how, uh, deep- how long does deep dark need to stay on for? Ideally two hours, but we'll work with two coats today if you've only when, living when you say perfect. Perfect. So <laughs> double the coats. When, when you I say deep the- dark, what, <laughs> what, are we, what are we still looking at? We're talking... Depending how long you leave it on for, the shades of darkness. Mm-hmm. But 
I think you, we'll keep it nice and natural for you today. Uh, no, let's go deep dive. And we're looking for that. Um, I don't know if you've seen the movie Something About Mary, and there's the old bird that likes to. <laughs> Magda. Magda. Magda likes to sunbake on the balcony. Yeah. 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 All right. We're looking for something like that. We don't have that. You only get that from burning your skin. We only have okay. natural. Right. Bows. Okay. Yes. All right. Sprayles fair. Best in the biz. They're right. very good. Sprayles. They're like good for you, I think. Clint, if you would like to yeah. derobe, make your way to Are the booth. Are we really doing this? Yes. Yeah, all right. So M's making her way over. We've got a portable booth in the studio. Clint's got his little paper. He's in a robe with I'm his paper hat. I'm looking forward to seeing the rig. No, shut up, all Here right. Here we go. He's in his... Right. Ooh, oh. He's in his speedos. <sighs> Mate, can I just say, you are looking... Flex, 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 flex. You're looking flex. the goods, Clint. You look great. You look great. You've lost a ton <laughs> of weight. He's I re- been on a health kick one for this. One foot on there and one foot on there. Okay, he's getting his yes. sticky feet Let's on for the ladies feet. out there. Clint. M, do you tan many men? We actually do. Is that a few blokes? All right. Yeah, lots of guys that come in. Oh, my God. You fully (laughs) stuffed your... Speedo. Really okay, let's do it. Can I just say, hang he on, just, before you, just before you start, Lauren, yeah. have a look at the liquid in the gun, how dark it looks. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it can be deceiving, so but you're not going to be that colour. Okay. Yeah, All right. Lots of bronzes. All right. So what do I need to do? Okay, so Spray the man. No, you have to stand in funny poses because yes. you, you want to get under your arms. You, here we go. Is it cold? Uh, right, face the back. It's going it? to be cold, but you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You know the bit I always hated, Loz, because I got one done once. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know when they get- It's not that dark, Clint. It's oh my cold. god! Okay, is he can't quite, hear us. It's very dark. Is it quite degrading when they get you to lift your inner thigh? They need yeah, to. The- when they say turn your leg out and then they go bend over because you don't want the little white bit under your bum. Do they bleach it? I mean, not no, bleach no, it, no, 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 no. It's like that little bit under your butt cheek and your leg. How's it going, Clint? Oh, good, yeah, great. Turn side on. For turn me. side on. Now he does the silly little pose. All the way up. Arms up. Oh, there we go. Under the armpit. Lost. They get you to bend over. Well, a little bit because you don't want to get the lines, so like the folds in your skin. But then if you stand back up, you got to sag your ass. Does it just give you the oh, lines? Oh, you're a girl. Again? Sometimes you got to hold your boozies up so really? you get dark under there. Clint, hold your boozies up. <laughs> you don't want to get any lines. <laughs> Arm up. All right, he's looking good. All right. Quite cold. We're going to leave him to go and get spray tan, but can I just encourage everyone tonight? <laughs> Hang on, Clinty. How are you feeling? <laughs> it's quite cold. It, how does it look? It You're looks great. S- you look good. It's bloody dark. It's very. He can't hear us now. <laughs> it it's, is. We definitely did the deep dark. We have gone the deep dark. <laughs> <laughs> good luck for your swim, Clint. We'll reveal the tan on our socials tomorrow. Uh, sorry, tonight, nine p.m. Channel Nine, Wide World of Sports. The celebrity swimming race is on. Go and check it out and support oh the great God. man. <laughs> It's just gone 17 to 9, Jason Woo, Lawrence socials, reek. if you want to check out the results. It is Jace and Lauren with you. And <laughs> and the tan man. And the tan man's in the okay, building. Clint, you look like a bodybuilder. Can I? Because can we've I also re-robe? told him. No, you've got to sell like that for an hour. <laughs> oh, no. He's Clint, just in his speedos. I, if, I, if I look like that, I'd probably go to Coles. <laughs> you should I'm do a Coles run. Coles. I'll do my weekly shop. <laughs> you seriously... You look amazing. I mean, really? people aren't even going to recognise you at the World Championship swimming well, tonight. Well, no, because I'm two tones darker. If you don't pick up tonight, <laughs> you're going to die alone. Okay. Like, if, if yeah, you've this just, is, you are at your prime. If you've just tuned in, Clint's just had um, a spray, his first spray tan before he's thank on the you, Channel M, 9 swimming way. tonight. M from Spray Oz, thank you. If you need a spray tan, they're the best place to go. They're all over Melbourne and they're mobile as well. <laughs> you, know, um, you know what you remind me of? <laughs> what? <laughs> Like a piece of golden chicken from Red Rooster. <laughs> you know what you look like? I'm a tender. <laughs> you, you look like a beautiful barbecued chicken tender. He looks like Garfield. You do look like Garfield. There's a new Garfield, Garfield yes. movie. You look a bit like Garfield. Make my teeth whiter. Segway. T- yeah, yeah, those chompers look really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, do I need to stay like this in my speedos yeah. for the rest of the show? Yeah, yes. please do. It's quite and amusing the for everyone. Shows as well. The best Thanks, thing is... We've just had clients walk by. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Potential to Potential new clients. This I know. Is, this I just is got told they have, they have cut their spending. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. They're, they're taking it somewhere else. <laughs> hey, I'm um, speaking of Garfield. Do you remember when you're a kid going to like McDonald's for a treat and you get the Happy Meal toy? No, but I remember you never doing had it that? last Tuesday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do they still do them at McDonald's? Well, you know now when you order a Happy Meal, you don't have you to get be apples like, or something? Yeah. Do you want tomatoes or fries? Yeah. And then do you want the toy or a book? Yes. Oh, sorry, they've got apples now. Yeah, in the Happy Meal and tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Well, Hungry Jacks what? have a similar Nothing thing. Nothing happy about that. So be uh, wary if you've been to Hungry Jack's because the toy that they gave out has been recalled. <laughs> but outside of the the toy being recalled, I want to know why it was ever invented. It's the burping Garfield's toy. 
Got oh. milk? Did you eat all four boxes of lasagna? <laughs> uh, and that's a sign that the tank is full. I mean, how fun is being a toy creator? The Burping Garfield. The Burping Garfield. Have toys gone too far? No, this is much worse. I remember buying my... Well, go- yeah. well, I bought my goddaughter. It was called... Um, it was called the turtle, and it, <laughs> it was a turtle that you fed, and it did a turd, and it sung a song. That's why it was called the a turtle. It was called "Gotta Go Turtle." We have the cat and it version. sings. It sings, and it's meant to toilet train you. The what the? Oh no! My ours was like sorry, a little dog on a plastic lead, and one of the kids had it, and as he walks it around, it lays little nuggets around the house. You call it puss and poots. <laughs> Strong. I just find like kids' toys so bizarre. Oh. I don't have kids, but whenever I've had to go to a kids' party, you go into Big W or something, and I'm like, who's oh, crazy. inventing this stuff? We've gone to the days of Tickle turtle. Me Elmo, right? That was sweet tickle and innocent. Me yeah. Now it's escalated. And they've got a lot, like a lot of electric shock machines and stuff like that. Well, our um, executive producer is talking about an electric kids' electric shock machine. Oh, have, you, have you got one? We got one for Christmas when we were younger, and we didn't know that Granddad had a pacemaker in. So then we went up and we shocked him with electric shock, and then he's like, "Oh, he could die." God, Granddad's milking this. He's shaking everywhere. Remember, Come on, it's remember, not that bad. Get up. Remember when I told you I had a Furby, one of those little things that would make That's the right. funny noises, and it had to be in a dark room to sleep, and I hid it under the bed at my nan's house. Forgot about it, and my dad was like, "Okay, well, nan's losing the plot. She thinks there's someone talking to her from under the bed for weeks." And you were about was, to send her away. She was about to be sent to home, yeah. and then my dad was like, "Well, I'll look under the bed and prove to you there's nothing here." And there it was, my little Furby. Imagine if you sent it to a home and then you were clearing it I never would have said out. anything. Well, then you were, no, exactly. You're not, <laughs> you're, not, you're not moving it twice. Moving's a pain in the ass. You're not ever, bringing it back. Ever, ever would have mentioned it. No, when she's gone, she's out. Yeah, yeah. 132410 is our number. What's the most annoying kid's toy? Oh, or has someone fish. just given you something random? Yeah, that singing fish. Remember, people used to take to that with hammers. That's right. 13, 24, 10 is our number. We've got a $200 Kogan voucher for the most annoying toy. Kogan.com helps you get what you want for less. Kogan.com. And now that's clicking awesome. Annoying <laughs> toys. 13, 24, 10. What do your kids got? We are talking kids' toys. We're talking about very irritating children's toys. I bought my um, my goddaughter a, uh, a, a turtle, a singing turtle. Turtle, uh, which was a turtle that did oh, turds that taught you how to be toilet trained, apparently. Yeah, right. <laughs> they want to kill it. They want to smash it. What with happened? The to, what happened to like Teddy Ruxpin? Oh, Teddy Ruxpin when how he ran was out of batteries. Teddy Ruxpin. Oh, yeah, when he was running out of batteries. So basically, did, did you ever get Teddy Ruxpin? I never had a Teddy Ruxpin. Oh, yeah, it had the tape in the back. Yeah, it had a cassette and it had slow in his belly. Down. When he was running out of battery, he was scary as hell. Yeah. And the little boy went to the forest. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't think he's coming back. He's cooked. Spooky. Teddy's cooked. Yeah. Yeah, I had a Furby that was the most irritating thing my parents said they'd ever heard of. Amber from Packenham, you've got two girls. What is the most irritating toy they have that you want to run over with your car? Anything with batteries in it. <laughs> Anything. Do, do, you have, yeah. they, do they sing? Is it the singing toys? Uh, it's just everything. Like um, recently my girls got a book with a torch and you press a button to match the book and the batteries were going flat in it and I woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning searching for this sound in their playroom <laughs> and pulled out every box and everything <laughs> to find it. And then a month before that, my daughter's Anna doll um, was going flat and was singing to her in bed and was freaking her out. So yeah. 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 Right. The, the Anna yeah. doll. And when their batteries go flat, they just go a bit rogue, don't they, toys? They just start singing it all. Last night, I was army crawling out of Archie's room. Like, I've just laid the two-year-old down. Like, mm. you're trying to sneak out, right? And then I was like, oh, I had to go back. What do you hit? Electric guitar. Oh, oh <laughs> just sat on it. <laughs> Dad! There he goes. Oh, God. Amy, what's your kid's annoying toy? A fart blaster. <laughs> a fart <laughs> blaster. How does that work? It's from the new Despicable Me movie. It's like a little, it looks like a little ray gun. That sounds and fun. it says, clear the room. And then it makes fart sounds. Oh. And he plays it every time I'm on the phone. Oh, Great. no. Great. And then he plays it at 5.30 in the morning to wake me up. Great. The fart blaster. That'll get you. You know what else is annoying? Those microphones. I bought can... your kid's one. Yeah, with that, you can put an effect on and everything like that, and it gets so loud. No, you sound great. 
The louder you go, the better you sound on those things. Apparently, I Sam and Chadston, most annoying kids toy. What do you got? Yeah, my son's got a uh, squeaky scream chicken, and every time he squeezes it, it makes a sh- terrible noise. What? What? What does it sound like, Sam? Oh, he goes. <laughs> Like that. Oh, it does my head in. He's, he I think I know the, the one you mean. Does it have a long neck? Yes. Yeah, yes, seen it. Yes. Yeah. He runs around the house just going, just going hard at it. Oh. <laughs> I swear Why to God. Is, it, is this stuff invented purely to irritate parents? Yes, and the only people that buy them are people like you yeah. to yeah, give us gifts. Yeah, that's fine, the kidless. Mm. Yeah, the kid, it's the kidless adults like us. Yep. Cause, Enjoy. Because we're getting so much sleep already. That's what? why you needed a recorder in your <clears> house. <throat> no, you didn't buy me a recorder. You bought two. To the kids. Yeah, they've got a You had two sons unison. at the time. <laughs> they don't. So I think you might have had three, but they don't. The recorder symphony. Yeah. They might want to start a band. Not band. <laughs> we need to start a band. We have the electric guitar and the two and recorders. The two <laughs> you have a drum kit as well. You need one of them. Barb. Uh, Barb. <laughs> Barb. Oh, G'day, guys. It's the damn cookie mo- cookie monster. Like our rich cousins gave it, passed it down to our, our The rich cookie. cousins. <laughs> the rich cousins give it to us. And all of a sudden, like, honestly, it's gone mad. I got up at midnight for a glass of water. And this thing, intermittently, it's gone, you want a cookie? What a cookie? <laughs> and I'm like, my heart just completely popped. And I'm thinking, oh, my God. It's possessed, with, and next rubbish collection, we just turf the whole thing out. It was oh. gone. I'm still having noise. What noise? What does it say again? What does it say again, Barb? Uh, want a cookie? Want a cookie? The real deepest <laughs> voice you can possibly think of. Uh, That's the one toy I would keep in the house. <laughs> I want a cookie. Yes, I do, Cookie Monster. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Good morning, Melbourne. What a morning it's been. This is Nova 100. It is Jace Lauren. And the Tan Man. The Tan Man is here. Clint Stanaway, good luck. You are racing you. in the celebrity swimming race on Channel I 9 tonight. I feel faster already with a tan. So I got my girlfriends from Spray Oz in, and they've given you a mm. darker than natural tan. Yeah, apparently tan, so. Um, which you'll wash off shortly, and we'll get the true representation, because you're uh, looking very dark at the moment. Now, but, while you were getting the tan, Lauren yes. ripped out the mobile and shot some footage, and then sent it to Carl Stefanovic on the Today Show. <laughs> and <laughs> during that song, you got a little shout-out. Some of us are more athletic than others. Yes. Um, and, and, and I've been oh. talking all week about the fact that Clint, who is the magnificent host of the weekend show, is a, a great guy, yes. but he's taking Love this Clint. way too seriously. <laughs> he's been cutting up, he's been going to the gym, he's yeah. been swimming laps, yeah. and he even did this to taper down for the event on radio <laughs> this morning. Check him out. Oh, status. Whoa. He's got the budgies on, he's rippling muscles and obliques are everywhere wow. for the world to see. He's in good nick. Stan has put it away, mate. He's, He's in hating good nick. Look, isn't he? Look at him. Very cold hey, studio. Hey. <laughs> Hates it. <laughs> <laughs> You're it right. It was very cool in The here. video I sent, it didn't look like you were hating it. You were flexing. Yeah. And there's a reason, Clint. The spray tan's not going to make you go faster, but it's like the bodybuilders. It makes your muscles pop. It does, apparently. It provides Somewhere definition. There. Just Come what, on. What? You've come, been on a health kick sorry, for weeks. On, you look great. Let's Hard work the pays athlete. off. Hang on. No, I was just going to say, just wash it off in the shower because God knows you don't want it washing off in the pool tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that is it. We are getting out of here. Melchison is in next. See you tomorrow. Bye. Have a great day. Thank you for being a friend. Jason Lauren. Jason Lauren. Wake up feeling good. On Nova 100. Jason Lauren. Follow them on socials. Nova.